Now, as far as like what would kill you, so that's where we have something called the LD50 that comes in. If you're consuming this much caffeine, it could pose serious health risks. What is going on, y'all? This is Cooper coming back at you with another video. Now, the upper recommended dose for caffeine to be ingested in one day is 400 milligrams. So I know there's a lot of supplements, a lot of pre-workouts and things out there that actually have 200, 250, 300, sometimes even more milligrams per serving. So if you're consuming something like that, you obviously probably only wanna have one serving, maybe even half a serving, just depending on your tolerance. Some people might just drink like one cup of coffee and just absolutely tweak. Um, other people who are like, you know, slamming, tall monsters every single day, it's gonna be a little bit different on what's dangerous to them and how it's going to actually affect them. Now, as far as like what would kill you, so that's where we have something called the LD50 that comes in. So for caffeine, the LD50, which just stands for the lethal dose 50, which stands for it would kill 50% of the population if given to in one sitting. The LD50 for caffeine is 166 milligrams per pound of body weight. So for me, since I'm 160 pounds, what that would look like is 160 times 166 is 26,560 milligrams of caffeine in one sitting would kill me probably kill over 50% of the population. So it's right there, basically, that would be the lethal dose. Um, now coffee ranges from like 100 to 150 milligrams uh, per like 12 ounce cup of coffee. So let's just say on average, it's like 130 milligrams. So we'll divide that total number by 130. So I would need to consume, I don't even know if you can see that, but 204. I would need to consume 204 cups of coffee. So. I guess what we're saying there is it would be difficult to kill me um, with caffeine. I mean, I would never be able to really drink that much caffeine in one sitting. Uh, however, there's a lot of negative side effects, like acute negative side effects that would happen in the moment to you that would be terrible if you were to consume a ton of caffeine, even though it might not kill you. I mean, if we're thinking about 10 cups of coffee or a thousand milligrams of caffeine, 3000 milligrams, I mean, the rate at which your heart would accelerate, the anxiety that would you know, almost certainly come along with that would be crippling. Now, I wanna talk about the optimal dose for caffeine. In my opinion, this is gonna be somewhere between 100 milligrams and about 200 milligrams is optimal. Anything more than that, unless you have a serious tolerance, is going to probably provide a little bit of anxiety, jitters, maybe even some discomfort. Whereas anything less than that, I don't really truly feel like it has the necessary effect that it needs to have to really kind of get everything out of the caffeine. So I'd say about a cup of coffee per day, maybe an energy drink. Right now I'm drinking this energy drink, which has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it. Um, I've actually been on a uh, caffeine tolerance break. Uh, I don't like to be addicted to anything. I don't ever think, and I will never be addicted to anything at all, even something as simple as caffeine or coffee. So every once in a while, I like to go ahead and prove that to myself, take a good break from it. And um, right now I'm actually just, as I'm reviewing, I've got another video where I'm reviewing this energy drink. This is the Gorilla Mind energy drink, um, more plates, more dates, Derek, he actually made this one. And um, he should feel pretty special because I broke my caffeine tolerance break just to try this out and, uh, and give it a review. Um, if you wanna check out the review of this, it's awesome because it has 200 milligrams of caffeine, plus it has a ton of nootropics in there. So that's gonna help with your mental clarity, focus, memory, all of that. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in here or in the description where you can check out that video as well. And then if you are someone that maybe has consumed too much caffeine or you're somebody that is prone to anxiety and jitters while you consume caffeine, pair this with 100 to 200 milligrams of the supplement L-theanine. That should help kind of relax you a little bit and remove some of those ne negative side effects. That's it for this video today. Hope you got something from it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.